So my name is Jules Lockett and I'm one of the EOC on-call tactical commanders. You will see in one of the episodes of our documentary, Ambulance, uh, something referred to as paper operations. What does it mean when we go to paper operations? We work off of a CAD system, computer-aided dispatch system, what handles uh, and we process our 999 and 111 calls on. Uh, and equally, we also send and dispatch our ambulances and our ambulance cars or resources. Occasionally, from time to time, that may actually fail or we need to take the system down uh, and we have a tried and tested method uh, that we move to paper operations which is when we actually physically use paper to write down the information that's coming in from our calls and then transferred into those people and the teams that are dispatching our resources. So moving to paper operations is not a decision that we take lightly. Um, it, it takes a, a lot of planning and it takes a lot of progression. Uh, and we, we often practice that in a safe environment. Uh, while we still have a live system available, we actually ask our teams to run through those processes. So they become familiar with the act of going to paper. When the decision is made to move to paper operations, um, our staff will have packs that are available for them, which contains their paper tickets, pens, and any information for the tree system so we can allow, allow our staff to be able to process those calls on paper. Uh, we have a system that allows us to print all of the current calls that are in progress uh, or have already been received to allow us to make sure that we can account for our patients and also our crews. We have a, a team of what we call runners who literally are taking those tickets from the call handling area into the area where they're dispatching the resources from to make sure that we can get those patients and those resources married up as soon as possible. So for our dispatch staff that are sending those resources or speaking to our crews, everything is written manually. So anything that we would normally type in on our CAD system uh, is then written and documented manually to allow us to get accurate reflections of that particular call. So for our ambulance crews, when they're actually passing that information back to us, normally that's done uh, electronically. So again, we would have to document all of that information manually and record that on the ticket for accuracy. Throughout this whole process, we have a team of people that are checking that those tickets are actually completed correctly, and that they have all the information that we need to be able to send a resource. And also at the other end, when that call is completed, that all the information is documented so we know what's happened to that patient and then what happens to that ongoing crew. So all the time paper operations has been activated, we have a team of many people in the background that are working to uh, both investigate this, identify the issue and fix that and can make that plain uh, decision as to when we start to go back onto our CAD system. As soon as we've identified a fix, what we will do is um, make sure that we test that fix, make sure that that's working uh, in the live environment before we start moving back onto our CAD system. Uh, it's a very thorough process and our technical teams and our on-call teams work very closely together to ensure that as we move back onto our CAD system uh, that we capture all of our uh, patients and all of our crews uh, so we can make sure that we do that safely um, throughout that process. After any events along the lines of paper operations, we always debrief. We talk through the situation, we talk through uh, the things that we maybe could have done differently uh, or things that we can learn from that and move that into practice um, as we go through for training. We're really proud of our staff uh, and how they pull together, especially in paper operations, because it's a very challenging time uh, and they ensure that our patients are safe, that our crews are safe uh, and they can allow us to return to our CAD system uh, as soon as possible uh, and when it's practical for us to do so.